Okay guys, I'm going to talk a little more about sequence. Most people who follow my channel or take lessons from me know I'm really big in teaching that if you have a proper sequence in your golf swing, your club face is going to be quieter at impact, you're going to have more consistent ground control, you're going to hit the ball first on your irons, everything we're trying to do, if we sequence our swing correctly, it gets easier. If we have a bad sequence, it requires timing to do all those things, then you're going to have some good days and then you're going to have some bad days because timing is hard to repeat. But tempo and just making a certain sequence move is much easier. So anyway, I'm gonna go through the sequence of a golf swing all the way through it, and then I'm just gonna go over the front part for one of my students. So here's, here's basically the sequence we talk about. When I do a drill called the stupid little drill, the beginning of it is we're gonna take the club back, we're gonna leave our lower body kinda of quiet, and now as I rotate, this is going to want to turn, but I don't want to lead with my lower body. I don't want my lower body to be the catalyst for my backswing. I want my chest and my arm to kind of take it away. So I'm going to take my arms away here, rotate my chest through, and for this drill, and again, let me remind you, if we're doing drills, they're always exaggerated. So for the drill, we're going to go here, let the club hang here, here a lot of head weight here. I want to feel the club here. So as I drop in here and I turn down, I can feel this club falling in behind me as I do that. So this beginning move right here is take the club back. And I'm going to show you, we're going to exaggerate. There has to be a point on this swing to where everything kind of loads into this front foot before I start rotating. So it has to happen somewhat at the top of the back swing. You can do it earlier. But if you get up here and you start rotating early, your arms are going to come down, but you're never going to get your weight transferred to this front foot. So we're talking more for everything except a driver okay on a driver I'm gonna still rotate hard but I'm gonna stay back a little more because it's on a tee and I get to low point it before the ball and hit up on it I don't get to do that with any other club in the bag if I low point before the ball and hit up on any other club in the bag I'm either gonna hit behind the ball or I'm gonna blade it going into it so first part here and I want to exaggerate this beginning part. As I go here, I'm going to lean into this front leg. I want to be able to feel this separation. I want to feel my hands going back while my body is moving forward. When I say forward, I'm talking about dropping into this knee. It feels like it goes on the front of this foot, and I get dropped in right there. So when I start to turn, my pivot point now is on this left foot, this left hip. So as I pivot here and start rotating, I'm going to bring this hip up to match where the left hip is, and I'm going to clear this back foot and my weight's going to stay forward. That's going to help me hit down on the golf ball, which I need to do with everything that's on the ground, just to different levels. Obviously with a pitching wedge, I'm going to hit down more than I would a three wood. So again, I go back while my arms are still going back. I'm dropping my body. I've got to be able to feel this move here. Hands still going back, body's going forward. It's exaggerated. But if you look at really good tour pros, that have that in their swing, like a, maybe a McElroy, he'll get up here and actually while his club's still sitting here, he'll squat a little and he kind of pushes and gets more forward bend, pushes his butt out here and then starts to push through with his body. But you can get this early if you just feel it, but you've got to get onto this front foot here. So I go back here, get on the front foot here, then from here, I start to turn and this club wants to gather when I do that. This club wants to fall in, much like I throw a ball. When I throw a ball, my foot goes that way, when my arm's going that way, so that's a little of this. And then as I start to throw, my wrist sets, which is a little of this. And then from here, I rotate, my wrist release, and then the club goes through. So again, it looks like this. Take it back nice and floppy. Lean a little into your front foot while your hands are going back right there. Then rotate your hips and let this drop. Get a little squatty right here. Get a little bit of depth in here. Get the club dropping in. Then start rotating your hips. You'll be on this foot. We're not trying to get our hips square to the target at the belt buckle. That would be moving like this, both hips here. I want this left hip pushed a little bit in and then bring the right hip up to it. So one more time. Here, lean in, let this club set down here, and then go through. So I'm going to go over the first part. I don't even need a club for this. If you're, try, if you're struggling to get the feel of loading into this foot somewhere in your backswing, get used to getting into this position so when you start to turn, you're already on that front leg. Just do it with no club. Just take your arms, put them here, and get used to doing this. Get used, you can even step. I've got a step drill that I'll put on a little bit later, but a step drill. I can even do this. I can put my foot down and feel that. Just to exaggerate, I want to shove my body weight into the front leg here, kind of drive it down into the ground while my arms are going back. 
then there's going to be a little bit of getting a little depth in there and then a rotation through. If I get good at that move with just my arms, then put the club in your hand and try to feel the same thing. Might step in again, feel that move. Look how much I'm moving. Now this is exaggerated. I would never dive this much into a golf ball and move my head that far forward. But part of the reason that's happening is I'm stepping in here moving. So it's exaggerated, but all drills are meant to be exaggerated. So just like this, just do this until you feels like this is just great. Cause the truth is, once you get used to that feel, it's kind of like loading up the throw. Once you get there, you can go crazy. There's a lot of power in that swing. If you can feel this load right here from here, all you're going to get to speed, all your speed is going to be developed from that hip rotation. You don't want to hit it very hard. You want to hit a half shot. You just don't rotate your hips very fast. You're going to go at it a little harder. Your hips go harder. You turn the body. This push through is where we gather the speed. Okay, guys. You can do this.